brains and scientific uh, uh, persons are present in Egypt, which is definitely a plus. Um, from um, the overall experience uh, that you've been through, watching others and going through the presentations yourselves, have you sensed that the jury had um, uh, particular um, areas of interest they take, they, they take into account more than others? I mean, you've, you've definitely stressed on the charisma, the personality and the character you portray. Um, were there any uh, other uh, particular um, you know, uh, points of interest? You've sensed, Mohammed? For the jury? Yes, for the jury and their selection. Well, the jury, I think, the, uh, uh, at least in our heat, in the second, one, in the second uh, Cairo heat in uh, the uh, Cairo Medical School, mm. uh, t two of them came from a medical background and uh, one of them from engineering background. And uh, uh, I, I didn't see or I didn't notice that they preferred some topics to others or the reacted more to some topics. I'm, I come from mechanical engineering background and the two you of were the selected. Jury, yeah, and uh -huh. I was selected. So, so you I, think I it was think objective? Yeah. Was it the same? I mean, I'm not asking about the impartiality. I'm, I'm just asking about uh, general points they uh, stressed or things you feel that since you guys and are the winners. Like they were looking for. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't sense that. I, I thought they were very open to all the ideas that were presented. So, and they were interested. I mean, the, the, there were a variety of people. They had different backgrounds. So the, the two judges with a medical background were very interested in non-medical uh, presentations and vice versa. So I didn't think you, they you were. You didn't sense there no, were any. I, I, I felt that they were open to all sorts of topics, uh -huh. really. Yeah. Okay. And Hazem, you want to add something? Yes. Actually, I think um, one of the most interesting things about the, 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 the panel of judges is that they were assessing all aspects of the contestant, not just the content. And we had judges who have very um, uh, strong backgrounds in media and public speech, and they were assessing very, very uh, professionally, the charisma and, and the body language, the mm -hmm. speech, the, vo the vocality, they were very professional in that. Uh -huh. We even had um, people who are completely from artistic backgrounds. I'm not sure if we can um, um, say all the names, but, but they were very professional and I think they assessed all aspects of the contestants, which was really, really amazing. amazing yes. uh -huh. All right, we have Ayman, hello. Hi, Yeah, sorry to keep you waiting. No, this is okay. Uh, well, Ms. Michael, let me tell you something. I believe that to do science, you have to know uh, how to make experiment, and you have to try to make experiment m once and more so you can do it. And if you, if you also uh, let someone help you in the experiment, and also you have to trust yourself, so you have to practice more. Some people, they like it, uh, to do experiments, and some people, they don't like this is uh, okay, like uh, experiments and what, like, uh, for example, in radio waves, waves and uh, a simple compass and uh, magnif magnif magnificent and these things. That's oh. all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ayman. Okay, um, this is a point also to be raised. Um, you've, you've had presentations on, uh, on topics in general, issues of interest to you, and hopefully that are related to the general public. But do you have to go through the experimentation phase as well with your ideas, or do you only present a hypothesis? I mean, for you, Hazen, for instance, how did it go? Um, the criteria for the competition did not include uh, um, the, the topic of presentation to be your own research. It just has to be a scientific topic that is valid and true and that is um, interesting to the, uh, to the public. If presented and and the, the only challenge for you was how you can translate it into a language that is understandable by exactly. the public people. Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And was it the same with you, Nashua, or did you, ha uh, did you use something that you've already worked on? Um, no, I, uh, what I presented was something that I was interested in, and that's my area of research. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean in terms of if we are allowed in this competition to present just a hypothesis that hasn't been proven. No, uh, what I mean is, uh, uh, like Hazem said, uh, it shows that it was not a prerequisite, that you actually present an idea that has been tested and experimented. But I mean, generally speaking, like our caller said, most of the scientists have to go through the process of um, uh, observing, putting a hypothesis, doing experimenting, do, yes, doing the, 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 yes, work. the scientific yeah. thinking process. Yeah. So, do you go through it? Did, did you have to go through this anyway? Because this is the topic of your research. Um, I did. Yeah, that's that's what You've, I did. Mm -hmm. I, I did my PhD in that um, in that in field. That, in that field. So I'd already done that. I'm still doing that mm -hmm. kind of research. But it was not a prerequisite for the competition it, per se. I didn't think it was, but it 
it does help if you, to, I mean, I don't know if you agree with me, um, but to show passion, you have to actually have passion and to mm. have passion for something you're not working on, maybe a bit more tricky than having You've passion You've got to be really involved. You, yeah, yeah, something. What do you really think about that, Mohammed? Well, uh, I made my presentations about Newton laws and that's something known to uh, many people since like 300 years or something. Uh, the idea was to relate that to an application, uh, to explain it in a way that uh, everybody will understand, and to relate that to something attractive and to, to put that all together in three minutes. That was the whole challenge, uh -huh. but yeah. But also, that but for you, it was something experimented years ago as well. Yeah, I didn't have to go through any, any exp uh, experimentation or something. Uh -huh. And you felt it was um, um, comfortable for you to present the idea since you've actually studied it for years. It, yeah. it, it, you didn't need to go through the research yourself. Maybe to that's prove the, 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 the passion part is that, the, uh, as I said, Newton is the father of the. Uh, mechanical engineering and many people know about the the incident of the apple falling on uh -huh. uh, in front of Newton so that's maybe that's the the point of passion that I really wanted to present something about that uh -huh. but uh, all I had to do is that to, to, to find a way to communicate it and to make it attractive for the people and put it all in three minutes mm -hmm. um, I, you want to add something as well yeah um, actually although uh, it's not a prerequisite but some of the people did some we're not allowed to use audio or video equipment, but we are used to. We are allowed to use props, uh, instruments that will help us illustrate the idea. Mm. So some people made very interesting props, and they actually carried out experiments in front of the audience. They were quite impressive. That's an interesting yeah. idea, and that actually leads me to my next uh, question: Have you uh, seen any presentation that attracted your attention the most, or you thought that this must be the winner? I mean, I li really love this. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, what was yours? Actually, one of the most impressive things uh, uh, that happened to me uh, in the competition is that uh, the first thing, uh, or the first person who called my name once I entered the registration area uh, was one of my professors. Wow. And I was really happy about that and uh, to know that he's going to present. And we were together actually in the same round. And yeah. his presentation was fantastic. The, the, the moment he finished, uh, He's in the final, or he's uh, going to be in the, uh, the second round, he's going to uh, give a second talk. Uh, it was a, a, a very uh, interesting idea about the smart materials that you can deform it and it The experiment. Uh -huh. So it was it was very uh, captivating, yeah. And interactive. This is one of the very mm. good elements yeah. uh, of presentation. Yeah. What about you, Nashua? Anything impressive? Um, yeah, I think there was. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the contestant, but I'm sure he he is in the f um, eleven finalists. But he presented. He did a, a presentation on earthquakes, and just the the way he he hit the the floor with a with a pole and brought to people's attention. Mm. Um, what earthquakes are like. That was mm. that really attracted mm. my attention. I oh thought he right. was brilliant. Uh -huh. yeah. And actually, this comes with the sad events that are happening in Haiti, I guess. Um, mm. Too bad. We have uh, our, first, our last caller. Hello? Hello? Yes. Uh, please, I want to speak with Mr. Hazem, Dr. Hazem and uh, Dr. Mohammed. Yeah, go ahead. He, he, he can hear you. Go ahead, please. Yes, I, uh, I want to ask. Uh, I am very happy to see uh, my uh, uh, Egypt uh, youth uh, with uh, this uh, good idea. idea. Thank, you. Thank you very much. And we definitely are all very proud uh, with the Egyptian youth. Thank you very much for calling. Um, well, uh, uh, one final moment because we're running out of time. Hazem, tell me what impressed you or attracted your attention in the competition. The uh, one with person you thought could be the winner. Um, I, I'm not going to enter into the could be the winner uh, uh, right. zone, but one of the, the presentations that really attracted my attention um, was a presentation that explained why insects keep flying around light bulbs till they die. <laughs> and I thought that was a really interesting topic because they keep doing that till they die. And, and it was very counterintuitive why evolution would install such an incompatible software in their brains. <laughs> and when I understood why... Oh, that was a light bulb. Wow, that's a, 